This, this is a business card. It's kind of boring, isn't it? What can you do with a business card? Well, you can put the processor of an Arduino Uno onto it, make a game console. But this is clunky, and it doesn't work super well. The external ROM needs an interpreter, and the Arduino is slow. So, let's switch out the microcontroller. The Pico, which is what's used in this redesign, is much more powerful. But it isn't all that great, and the overall design is still way too expensive. Instead, let's pick a cheap MCU and put it on the cartridge instead of an external ROM. This saves cost, reduces complexity, and because the cartridge MCU can be really anything, it increases flexibility. But this one doesn't work. All right, almost there. Let's add some battery power. There we go. Howdy y'all, I'm Dylan and this is the game card. It's been my side project for the past nine months and it's finally done. As you can see, the game card consists of a five-way push switch used for the four directional inputs, two push buttons, a battery, and a small OLED display. The cartridge uses an ATtiny 84A microcontroller, which has the Arduino bootloader and runs programs which use custom input and graphics libraries. The current game plugged in is Snake, which is, as you might guess, a Snake clone. I've also developed a Pong clone, which I'll show later. So here's Snake. And, well, it's Snake. So now, let me show you another game I've made for it. This is a Pong clone, and it's both one player by pressing the high button, and two player by pressing the low button. Let's put it in one player mode first. I have an AI that just goes up and down for you to play against. So you get the idea. First person to eight points wins. Now let's go back and put it in two player mode. Of course, in two player mode, the second player controls their paddle with the high and low buttons on the right. I think these two games really illustrate what you can expect from the game card. Well, there you go. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. And like I said, it's been a long time in the making. If you want to build your own, links to the parts and board files are on the Hackaday page. It's about $15 per board and $1 per cartridge, but you'll definitely pay more than that for shipping since you'll have to order a minimum of 5 boards and all that. I hope you find this as cool as I do, link to the project page is in the description. Thanks.